<laughs> Too bad we couldn't get one going. No. Yeah. Well, and it used to be every year the fire department would take on the police department that'd be cool. the and stuff like that. Fun. And then we would do that out to the Legion and stuff like that. We haven't done that in years. That'd be, a lot, that'd be a lot of fun. I remember the last time there. I played net, I went and got an ambulance. Yes, you too. did. We had to put the oxygen on you. And yes, we had to get you in the ambulance real quick. About 90 degrees oh. out there. I choked to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all done playing tonight. So yeah, when, Unless when, I, I don't. when I was a wee bit younger, I, we a bunch of friends and I started a softball team. We were playing a, a tournament, just a weekend mm-hmm. tournament, right? We signed up and, and we're ready to go. And this like Thursday night and, and the director of the tournament calls me and says, hey, we have a last minute team that wants to play. And I mean, we're just doing it for fun. We're just, I mean, we're, none of us are any good. We're just <laughs> what the hell, right? And I'm thinking, yeah, I don't care why. Why are you calling and ask? Yeah, just show up. I just mm-hmm. cares. I don't know any of the other teams. And it was like, passing? well, this is Magic Johnson's team, and he's going to be playing. So we just want to make sure. It's like, yeah, oh, okay. All right. all right. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. I don't care. Mm-hmm. So. Cassie, can you hear me? Just so everybody knows, there is a group working on. Yep. Okay, can you see everybody? I moved the camera. Nights when the yep, up. you're getting a little bit too much of the wall, but everybody's in as long as Dina's not in her relaxed mode there. All right, I can try it back just yep. here. What, what was it again, Mike? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> cool. okay. That would be cool. Fine, Where yeah. would you do it? Oh, like there you go. Or something Probably like that. That's perfect. PDPs and down in that area. <laughs> the other alleyway there. I can't can slouch. Slouch. Oh, okay. Snag There's the enough. name tags. So, oh, that'd be great. Yeah, Everybody loves cool cars. No names for you. Brian today. Yes. I still want to be me. Just cover up the first name. You can just be Gail. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. I don't care. That's you. The rest of them are not going to be All right. Can we get this over in five minutes? Yes. Ready for it. Paula says absolutely not. <laughs> She's like, I haven't even right. sat yet. I mean, I'm fine. I don't care. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, I guess the 701. Yeah, that clock is slow. So sorry, I was watching that. Oh, call, so. we got put batteries right. in that thing again? We can fix it. I don't know. Who's tall enough? <laughs> All right, let's we'll call the meeting to order. <laughs> Do we have any public comments? Is there anybody on the line? Just me. Just Cassie. Yeah, yeah I don't think there was anybody. All right. So no uh, public comments. Uh, minutes from the last meeting. Any questions? Any thoughts? Any? Make motion. Yeah. Second. Second. To approval. Yeah. Yep. All right. Do we need to do a roll? Nope. nope. We're all here. On okay. All right. <clears throat> New business. Updated capital improvement plan. So I I read through it and I mean I, I skimmed through it. Let's put it that way. I got pretty mm-hmm. deep and was like, okay. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. But um basically it's a requirement mm-hmm. of the law that um the planning commission be involved in the capital improvement process, which I think in the grand scheme of things probably makes a lot of sense because what sense does it to invest for the city to invest in things if the planning commission doesn't understand that so that when we're investing in projects that we kind of, it all comes together. So this is new a few years ago um, because of the RRC program. Um, So, and now we're actually just trying to develop it and make it a little bit better. I tried to put on there what we had accomplished since the last time we looked at this. Um, we do have to review it annually. So as we, what I did was try to change the date of it so that maybe we'll look at it um, earlier in the year mm-hmm. and city council does their budget in May. So we just passed the budget. So it kind of keeps that on a better time frame for us. Um, so, Basically, you know, um, it's pretty much encompassing everything we already talked about a few years ago. And it looks good. I mean, with, with the way that it looks, especially with the replacement of some of the things and stuff like that, that the other work that's supposed to still be getting done going by the art, you know, C plan and all that good stuff. 
it's following right to order, you know, really. Good. So so as long as it kind of makes sense what we're doing, you know, we can like slowly get like deeper into it or whatever. But I'm trying to, we just got new software last year. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get rid of these spreadsheets and use our VSNA software. Awesome. As I get time to get that, but um, yeah, I I mean I put a little bit of work in it, making sure I went back through to update what had already been accomplished. The only thing I kind of updated a little bit was you know we did the front of city hall, but we didn't do the um, ADA doors. We kind of talked about making these doors so that somebody could push a button, they would open mm -hmm. for someone to be able to get in and out easier. Mm -hmm. um, and we have aligned that so now that's nice and easy for someone to get in right there we just we were looking at that at some point and then that uh, property on the river we're actually kind of bumping that up a little bit thinking that with all the things that have happened that actually getting a kayak launch or a canoe launch out actually there doing something with it then is uh yeah wanting to yeah. get it taken care of yep so we're we, that's cool. the city council budgeted to have it um surveyed so nice. Enough. That's kind of where we're at. So that way we'll know what we own. Right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because I don't think we have a clue really what we own and don't want back there or out there. So, so basically, um, unless you guys want to go through this whole thing, we're just kind of looking for, you know, yes, we're still on the right path and a motion to keep that meeting. So, anybody have any questions on it? Look for it. I, mean, we're gonna, I would agree it looked good. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I can't say that I <laughs> can't, can't I, say that I went through everything. I burned it up and skimmed through a lot of it because yeah. it was well, it was just like it was kind of like last year's and it was it's just more updated, you know, yeah. now because mm -hmm. of the new years and stuff like that. With you know, and, and seeing with the city the vehicles for one thing and the mowers and stuff like that, because we talked in depth about that <laughs> last year about the replacements on that when you fought for years to try to replace any of those mowers and stuff like that. And it's like, look, you can only do so much maintenance on one mower right. and use it all right. year long with right. what we've got to do with it. Yep. That's you like know. a lift truck. Oh, absolutely. They bought it 10 years ago yeah. at least and they barely gave anything for it. Mm -hmm. And they've wired it together for years. And now yep. it's just like, the point yeah, that bucket. It's like you, you got to know how to fix that thing oh, to yeah. start it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that bucket truck was well used before they even well, attempted to get it. it. Exactly. So, <laughs> like, yeah. You know. So um so do we need a motion? Is that what you're looking for, Paul? Yes, for the sir. updated capital improvement plan plan. Yes, Excuse sir. Me. I'll make the motion to approve the the uh capital improvement plan. That's second. And then we we nope. should be seeing this every year. So okay. you guys will get the chance to look at this and then you know, as things go on throughout the year, maybe we'll want to add something or so. Those are things you could think about also as a meeting comes up and you're like, hey, do you ever thought about getting one of these? And I mean, that's how you get it in the capital improvement plan right. is to start. So, and I'm sorry, Jeff, I just left the meeting and I'm starting to take over. Oh, you're I fine. You're fine. To do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm wondering though, if maybe we should have it on the agenda for February or April of mm -hmm. next year, if the city council is going to approve it in May, <laughs> us to take a look at some of the things that are going on and, and maybe we have recommendations that should be. Yep. Or even know. earlier in the year, oh, anytime yeah. is a good yeah. time to look at this so yeah. that if there is a suggestion, so the city council usually starts working on their budget about yeah. January. Okay. And so if we, you know, during that budget process, if there's something that the planning commission would like to see bumped up, Mm -hmm. Like say, hey, this is down on the priorities, but we we've reevaluated. Like we, farmers market. Yeah. <laughs> so you know things like that. Anything that you know, mm -hmm. or if yeah. there's a funding opportunity or something comes up, yeah. we can look at it anytime. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, we should keep it on our agenda, and you know, mm -hmm. it's a living document that we want to keep updated. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So do we need a vote? Do we have a motion and a second. Yes. Just to all you want to roll call? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. Who's here? Cole Pepper? Yes. Holford? Yes. Apicelli? Yes. Judd? Yes. Brandenburg? Yes. Beasley? Yes. And Dean's not here, right? Mm -hmm. Playing golf. I know. 
All right. Hey, got a headphone. Next on the list, fence site plan review. I didn't see anything in here about that. There was nothing in there. Okay. It was just, it was but, just an email. Right. I was trying to let you know that we have someone putting up a fence that does not comply. Well, I, I saw, and, and I saw that you had in here the three pages. Correct. I'm trying to find those right now. But yeah, so I, yeah, I right put here. in there. The <laughs> item right. I saw that, but wasn't that part of yeah. the Yeah. And yeah. so well, because of the style of the fence, right? Right. That's right. So I did give yep, exactly. So because okay. it's not actually a chain link fence, it's I want more to say of an agri chicken. agricultural. I would say like a square. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. I would totally the square use that welded wire. Oh yeah, it's, right. And, that, and it's, that, rabbit, you know, it's rabbit fence. I didn't see it. It's that. probably it's like this. It's, just yeah, the it's, rectangle. Yeah, it's the rain, the rectangle. Square, I call them rabbit fence, but I have a. Color yeah, that picture you had was great. I drove by I got an eight foot pieces up north to keep the deer away from my trees and stuff. So, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I get it. I've got it in my backyard too. You know? <laughs> it looks you know, like it's about yeah. six um, feet oh, high, maybe. A big square. In like the start with, the only thing you can have oh, in the no. height in the front yard if it's in the front. Oh, it's no, it's in four the, foot. It's in the back. It's the back yard, but yeah. That okay. still doesn't comply. I, I saw the place. We so had one and I went down back yeah. and yeah. I yeah. 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 I saw the and I was like, oh. Except it's all this is this is actually it's it's more rectangular, you know. There's a little bit bigger yeah. opening. Yeah, but it is the style, yes. Well, that's his picture that he brought. He says that's what he bought. That's not what he's putting out. Oh, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, yeah, no. This is I mean, not I what he's going on. I don't know what he brought. It's that ain't what's going on. It. It's actually okay. quite tall. Yeah. That uh, is the fence, but he's using like the fence. It's the style of the fence. fence. But it's, but it's big, square. But it's, yeah, it's bigger it's rectangles. Yeah, I went and looked at it. Yeah. Five or six feet tall. Yeah. And he's using the obviously the post. Well, he's using big round fence posts. The post needs to be eight foot, right? Every eight foot, sorry. And then so light to eight. Yeah, the house on West Road that's a new construction, I think, from last year. That looks nice. It's short. Right. And so that, oh, yeah. um, if you if you do it that way, the then we've the allowed it. Right. Because it we is, had somebody yeah, come to us and, and they. Foot to start with oh, the front, and that fence is not really. So we had somebody come to us a few years ago and they were putting up a similar style fence and we said, you know, it doesn't meet our ordinance. And all I can do is go with that piece of paper that you guys mm -hmm. have. That's our ordinance. So when someone comes in with a fence permit, if it doesn't meet that, I have to say no. Okay. Right. So we came to the planning commission and we said, look, these people have an idea. They want to do this. They want to put some nice wood framing around it. They want to make it look nice. Oh, no, yeah, that's fine. And, you know, they, they, um, put together a plan to the show us how nice it would look. And actually, there's turned out nice. It doesn't look bad. Sure. There's a couple more on West Street that are very similar. But this is not going to look like that. This is going to look like somebody's going to put more to horses and goats in it, if you ask me. That's, that is what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> and so, and, and I, what I, I want to draw your out. attention to is that no. that's not the look we're going for. Right. Mm -hmm. We we, we want to farm. clean up our neighborhood. Well, especially when the we house right behind it, they put that nice wooden yeah. fence. Right. And we don't allow we don't the, allow you know, live the backyard there. Right. So that's right. You know, kind of let Michael go from here yeah. and talk about what we're doing and why we're doing it in that's case right. this guy does come forward or we have to fight him to take it down. I do have a question. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know if you yeah, um before I, I don't even know much of anything of this, but um as far as previous fences that are already up that look shoddy yeah that's not the word i'd use but i will because yes um what do we do about that because like the one across the street from that is rusted and like half tore down and so their fence will look really nice comparatively but not comparatively to like the really nice wood one back there I don't know. I'm just curious. You mean, you mean the one that's on the main street that has all the looks like it's built with pallets? That one was that approved one. because it met the ordinance. No, yeah. um, the one right across the street on Clinton Street for the by the Transformers or is it? Uh, the Transformers. Oh, so they're probably oh, where the old fuel tanks. Yeah, the fuel old, tanks were. Yeah. 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 That's, well, the problem is, is that fence was probably there before we yes. ever had our ordinance. Yes, and because that fence was there when those tanks were still in place, right. and so they were saying, actually using no, so that. That's a, that's a different issue about that. So we're talking about behind my property. Well, yes, but it's absolutely. A issue. Right. So that would be um, like a violation of the code 
about like Dan could probably take them for junk or for yeah. you know something that needs to be taken care of. But we don't really have a real strong back on right. some of that stuff, and we have some issues that really need to be addressed. And then you know it's going to take a while to get there, but we got to find a way to get there. Yeah. But we do have old fences that probably need to be repaired. Yeah, I got a and, list. And we're yeah, we're probably not you know high. Not that I need to do that, but I'm right. But we're probably not you know on top of that right. just because that it's it's really difficult that you know go to somebody and say hey your fence looks like crap because i told this guy i go you know this fence is doesn't I mean our ordinance you know we're, we're looking for fences that are going to look you know nice and well this is going to look nice so him is going to look nice right yeah. oh yeah so he definitely what, thinks it's going to look it's nice. Nice. Not it's not costing five grand. sorry i'm trying to catch up just because it, it's of the style. It's the read, style to him, read to him the ordinance yep. so he knows. Let me, let me tell you. Exactly. I'm looking for their trying to. Sure. Um, so fences, walls, and screens. Uh, and there's the rest of it. Okay. So we, we go through this this section 408 where we talk about uh, fences. Um, we list in you know different provisions for residential, commercial, industrial, and then we get into fencing type. You get to you get to section uh, number nine, nine here. Um, acceptable permanent fencing materials shall include wood, wood-like vinyl, recycled material, masonry, chain link, woven wire, chicken wire, wire mesh, and other similar types of agricultural or garden fencing types are only permitted by a zoning permit as a temporary use seasonally between April first and October thirty-first, and are to be removed following the season. So that's when we talk about okay, yes, you can put up these these types, yeah. but it's only for temporary purpose, right? Or uh, by site plan review of the planning commission, if it's decorative in nature, constructed with a top rail, and has has finished that's that should be surfaces, not services, uh, and posts or piers shall be spaced not more than eight feet on center. So what we've done is to say that yeah, you know, you we understand that there's a variety of fencing types out there that could be used to make something look nice overall. But it's it's part it's one component of an overall nice fence. Right. So and that's why you know typically zoning you know these fences they're done by zoning permit. So policies hey this this meets the requirements I'm yeah. giving you your permit. And put up a white vinyl exactly. Fence. It's, you go ahead. You, know, you, 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 know, you rent an auger the Saturday. Yeah. Go ahead and take yeah. care of it. Right. You know in this particular case yeah. if you get into that agricultural type we want to see more information about it. So that's really what we what 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 I was trying to what we were trying to do is say hey. You know, it's not an outright no. We just need to know more information, and then we need to right. know. You know, it, it's got to have that top rail. It's got to have. You know, it's got to have those components to it yeah. that that make it. You know, look like a more of a residential type of defense. So um, I mean, it kind of brings up you know something to the forefront is that you know the fence that you mentioned. I mean, I had to approve that fence, and I did not like approving that fence. But how? Yeah, what was I supposed to do with the ordinance? Right. So, right on the main strip of town. It yeah, I mean, what too much. So those are <laughs> that's what this group is for, though. If we are going to start seeing fences like that, and we don't want to see fences like that. We need to change the. Language, we need to straighten that thing up so that it says what you want it to say. Right. And that's those are the important decisions that need to be made right here. If we say no wire, only chain link, I wouldn't be dealing with this thing at all. You know. Well, I kind of. So I mean I'm not suggesting which way you want right. to go, but I'm saying you know I agree with you. I, I that but to them that fence looks great. To me it didn't. But it's a, it is a wooden fence. And that it met is, the ordinance. That is the issue. It's a wooden right. fence and it meets the ordinance. Right, but we should say it can't like be made out of pallets or can't That's you know right. I mean get way more specific. There's things it. like that you can you right. know I mean if you want to do that or don't want to do that those yeah, are the things and, we, and we we can change this stuff. Anytime you guys want to change yeah. it, and it's a living, breathing document. That's what we want to do. Absolutely. I mean, if we if we come to, you know, we can we can dig into it tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and if you give me a recommendation, we can set public hearing for next month and get it done. And that's why I suggested you drive around town and look yeah. at the, and you know, and we did that. I I was going to ask you if you still have that. We had like a big board with all the fences on oh, really? it. And okay. I don't remember. <laughs> I feel like we printed something, or we had a PowerPoint. One Probably on that box somewhere. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but now there's more fences, and we've done these fences. And mm -hmm. if you looked at the ones on West Street, they actually look nice. You know, mm -hmm. I don't. We've not had any complaints from their neighbors. Nothing. You know, but so that's what we have to decide. 
you know, and you guys have to decide. Uh, but like I said, when somebody comes to me, if it meets that ordinance, I have to approve it. Yeah. If it doesn't meet the ordinance, I have to bring it to you. Yeah. And so it doesn't meet the ordinance, what he wants to do right now. Well, is this, has he stated, is it just, I mean, is it going to be permanent? Yeah, it's to keep is his it? dogs in. Okay. And see, and that right there is number one, you can't do because it's temporary. Okay. With that type of fence. Right. But he's, so, no, yeah. it wasn't going to be temporary. Right, well, I understand. Right. It's a permanent fence. Right. 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 The question I had for you was you read just temporary. Right. Rabbit fence, agricultural fence, da 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 da. Now was that excluded or included? So those are those are included as as allowable material. So the woven wire, chicken wire, wire mesh, that's part of that's that's part of the fencing that's that's approved at the planning commission level. So as as part of an overall a larger design concept, I think, is the idea. I think we are and it was that. approved also, though, <laughs> as just the the time frame or the temporary, the temporary, the temporary, temporary, temporary one. Yeah. Right? And would the you consider what they did a woven wire? I would consider that a woven wire. That's what I mean from the description. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm sure. Is that what that? Is? What is that? It's, it's called they call it welded wire. Yeah, oh, I was yeah, going to say it's welded. That thing, what yeah. it was. That's that's to me. That's the. I feel like wire. I got confused yeah. between yeah. welded wire and woven yeah. wire. I think it's just about welded it's wire. Good. They use more for. They also use in the concrete okay. as your interior oh. for. You know to yeah. hold it together. Wire mesh and rebar. Yeah, oh, yeah. for the rebar and stuff like that. Yeah. I, mean, I, I personally was, don't even like the wire part. Of I that. think the wire needs to go just for temporary or off, like gardens. for gardens or whatever. Or, yeah, I don't think it should be there at all. I don't yeah. want chicken wire. Well, it's just like talking that. about with these other, like the other company down here, where we're in, in, in up here at the church. Yeah. We want the, you know, the decent fencing around those. You know. Yes, he's not going to have to have sound barrier unless his dogs are going to start creating issues with the neighbors. Then he's going to have issues with the neighbors and the city and county and things like that. But your other ones around here are all the chain link for their dogs, really. Yeah, I would say you know, chain, you know, link chain link is where, yeah, sure. It's got to meet all the zoning requirements, such right. as four foot in the front and so forth and so on and stuff like that. But I think myself, my personal opinion is, is if we don't, Call this gentleman on this or whatever. We're going to open a can of worms. Yeah, we've already got one started down there, and we need yep. to correct that one. Yeah, and yes, it is started. It, it's it's people are going to see it. They're going to start going for it. Already. They're going to do it in the dark. Two sections change. Or he two hasn't sections done any more since I told him. It did stop. We put one post in it. Yes, stopped. that's good. I talked to him on Thursday. Uh, tough guy to kind of get the point across to. I will say. Uh, <laughs> He was honest with me. He's like, yeah, I mean, this is this is what I want to do. This is, you know, you've seen the fencing type. I that's that's what I want to do. I said, okay, we've got to go through some extra steps. Yeah. Gonna bring you through the planning commission, do the site plan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get that to you. And heard anything from him since that Thursday when I called him. So probably be good to you know, like reach back out to him. And if not, then code enforcement, right? I mean, what else can yeah. you do? So I, then, I don't you know, see any other way. Dan can write him a ticket, and then, I mean, I know. and we don't want to do that, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's not no. what we want to do. You know, we you know, we reached out to the guy as soon as we saw the fencing materials, and I didn't wait till he got it up, but, you know, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, so, and oh, to top it all off, these people do not have a mailbox yeah. or a P.O. box. Yeah. Oh. So, look, whenever we mail them mm -hmm. a tax notice or a sewer bill, it comes back. So anytime I want something taken down there, I have to have Dan take it down there. So then every time Dan goes down there, he sees a couch or something else. And so there's other issues going on on that property, but <laughs> this is just not helping yeah, anything. Yeah. <laughs> is, is there an easy way out where he can just put a, a top across it? Right. I wish, I mean, like, if you had, he could, he could, you know, he could do that, I think, sure. right? I, I mean, if so. Well, I don't think yeah. it goes all the way to the top of those posts. So I think, you know, with looking at it, I don't it think does. Does, it did it go all, all the way to the, yeah. to the post? It was like six foot. I think oh, so. It's no. quite tall. Okay. Yeah. So, but maybe we could give him an easy way out. Just by, it just yeah, yeah. By I mean, I guess we're just going to need some guidance on this. Um, and basically, well, right now, so we need to move to. Yeah, you know, I got the feeling that he was definitely struggling. Yeah, he wasn't willing to. Yeah, he pretty much told me he was just going to put it up anyway. I mean, so, that's, that's but then he stopped. He wants to put this fence up to keep his dogs in. 
And this is probably the cheapest alternative. It is. So that, that is actually buy, I mean, buy a column just, and put on just like I got on mine. It's it's cheaper <laughs> to get that than it is chain link fence. Chain link fence, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. That's good to know because I'd like to get yes. one in my backyard for my dogs. <laughs> so I'll be going to this too. <laughs> so what do we do? Do we well, right now I can't let him put that up the way it is. Do knows. we say you know you gotta have your posts every eight feet, add a top to it, and then after this, get rid of the wire. I mean, what do I do? What is it gonna do? What was I mean, it that you were stating, Mike? About what? <laughs> 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 the fences? Yeah. Well, so, so I'm just looking at the fence itself. And being front, he's got a six foot, or it looks like it's six foot. Um, his isn't in front though. His it's is the back. side. Of the it's line. on the side. It's on the side. It'll be side yeah. and rear. Okay. Well, yeah. There's no fence in the front, right. but it is Not side yet. and rear. Yeah. 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 You see, it and could, that's that's where you get one. It, it, it could they go come it a could little bit, and then they go house. farther, and then yeah. they go farther, and I don't know what to do. I mean, so, myself, so, I I guess I would say that see, maybe he needs to come to the board of review, and we can talk about what we have done before. And look at any exceptions as, as a possibility. But quite frankly, what I was saying earlier was is I think all the wire fences need to go. That's that's what I was. I think they should. Too. It seems pretty cut and dry that per this, correct me if I'm wrong, per this, he can't do what he wants to do. No, that, without without having a special use permit. Or have it here. be the temporary. Or oh, if it's temporary, yeah, yeah. but I don't come in. Yeah. Is it but he can claim temporary and never take it down. Right. right. Yeah. Well, and then the yeah. worst part is we are only charging $50 instead of $25 for him to come out and, you know, to do that. And it probably cost me more than $50 to put it in the newspaper because you guys have to have a public hearing. Right. And it, I mean, we, at the very least, if we're going to do this, we need to make it a little bit more difficult. We have to actually charge them. The, I mean, we have to at least charge them for the, the newspaper and then your guys' fees. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean it really it's it's not a cheap thing for us to have a public hearing. Right. So it, it probably should be close to in our situation, like we're talking, just like that the public hearing will be at the cost of that person. And it includes staff for city, staff that's hired and so forth. And that way they know up front. Well, that's why we usually charge $250. Right. But then we thought for fence, we didn't want to do that. But then it's, you know, it's not getting any cheaper to put something in the newspaper. That's and right. Not getting any cheaper I, to buy it. It's a tough situation anything. regardless, right? Right. I mean, you want to make it, you want to make it so that it's available for people to come to sport and talk through what they want to do. But again, you got costs. I mean, I, it's written up in the ordinance as, as site plan review. I mean, you could very easily say, sorry, site plan review costs $250 plus your 500 for escrow. Yep. That's it. So. 500 for what? Escrow. 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 Okay. So that's that's really, you know. So if we tell them no, like no, unless you do it in wood or whatever, and then he just puts it up anyway, and then you have to take him to court. Dan takes him to court and gives him a ticket and all that, then what? Does somebody come and take it down? Does it just stay there? Does... Well, the last time we had to do this, which we did have to do this before, um, the last time we had to do this, the court made them take it down. Okay. So yeah. it was a long drawn out process and it yeah. was not fun. Is a permit required for fencing? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so right now, first of all, you went to put up a fence without pulling a permit, which a lot of people who move here from the country, they don't, you know, they don't know that if they've lived somewhere. I didn't know. No, people don't know that. Did, so he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, so that. like oh, I said, as soon as okay. we saw it started to go up, we got a hold of them and said, hey, hold up, you know, I mm -hmm. need to know what you're doing. And then I said, you know, I'm pretty sure the fencing that you're trying to use is not allowed. And he goes, what do you mean? It's right here in the front of a house. And I said, well, it might be in front of that house, but our stuff doesn't allow it you right. know and he was you know a little unhappy with me but um then he came back and apologized and started yeah. to fill out the paperwork yeah. and then you know but i've not seen another thing from him yeah. since yeah. and so i you know i think we at this point we need to ask him to take down what he started and then he's got to go through the special process and he's got to make it look better Unless he wants to comply to the wood or whatever, 
he's got options. It's not like right. Saying, it's not like you just shut the door on him. Yeah, that's right. The bottom line of it is, is he's got to comply. And my thought would be, just like I said, we need to get rid of Ray or Quincy. At least anything that's visible. You know, if it was somebody had a, well, I can use my example, not that I'm trying to do it. I got a backyard no one ever sees. And it's huge. So I could put a small fence back there and it wouldn't need, no one ever know it was there. That's right. Let's go check Mike's backyard. Make sure. <laughs> There's nothing there. Just a little trip. I cleaned up wood yesterday. I got the boys out there, man. They were cutting wood and piling it and having a bonfire and eating weenies. And I'm sitting there going, gosh, I've wanted to do this for five years. <laughs> So I guess I read this and I think it looks pretty cut and dry. You can build a fence out of A, B, C, and D. And you can't do it out of what he wants to without a special permit. I mean, I, I... But the only problem there, though, is with the way that it is right now, he could still come back at us and say, I want this as my temporary fencing. And we would have to allow it if he actually stated this is going to be temporary fencing. But I also, you know, one, one of the reasons I wanted you guys to discuss it tonight is because he might come and, you know, want to do that. And so yeah. I wanted to talk through sure, yeah. the fencing, you know, the regulations, because we've been through this, but not with this group. So we kind of, it's kind of like, it's a good time to have this discussion. He's not here. We're not making a decision right now. So it's a good time to get you thinking about what you want in the city of Langford for fencing. What would you want your neighbor to have? You know, I think it needs to be changed that it's not even eligible for the temporary stuff. You know, well, that type of aspect that it's not even going to be. Well, one of the examples is the construction. So right. I, if somebody wants well, yeah, that's true. I mean, it can be a temporary. But for a temporary for a garden would actually be temporary for a garden. This is like clearly he was going to his whole yard. Right, right, right. But like you just said about temporary yeah. at a construction site. Right. You, know, you can't, we we can't can just limit that. the temporary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. We can get specific about that. We could we could absolutely make exceptions for it. We can write as much as we want. That's right. So, what it, it goes down to is how beautiful do you want your city? I mean, if you don't care that there's hog fences around and all this and that and pallets and everything else, mm -hmm. that's something that don't matter. But if you want it to look as pleasant as possible, then I don't like think that Frank can move you guys. Huh? Like Frank can move you guys. Are you selling your house and moving soon or what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that happening. No. So what if he that's a little bit much thinking of. What if he decided to make a dog pound out of this wire? As opposed, I mean, is that what's is that different? It, it, he's not doing his whole backyard. And I'm not saying we suggest it to him. I'm not, I, this is more to your point of of discussion. What if he said, hey, I'm gonna do a 20 by 20 area that I can put the dogs in with this fence? Is that then okay or is that not okay? Is there something in our it would not be it would not be okay? It's it wouldn't be because we had somebody try to do that with chickens, right? And, and chickens. we had to tell them the same thing that you, you can't do that. You know, right. that fencing is not allowed. Yeah, I think you eliminate a lot of problems when you get rid of the wire, other than get a uh, chain link. Mm -hmm. Because okay, if it's chain link or it's wood or vinyl or composite, that's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Unless they come up with some kind of a plastic fencing that's pleasant and all that, you know, besides this white stuff that we use, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's beautiful. But... My neighbors put up nice things. Our fence looks nice. I got a permit for that, and then I <laughs> delayed, and the next year the fence got built, and I was like, thank you. <laughs> I only paid the permit fee. <laughs> Not refundable. Yeah, I was fine. It Darn. was totally worth it. It was all right. I didn't have to dig a hole or anything. Well, so what, what do we want to do then? I think we just need to tell him if he wants to do it, he needs to have, do a special yep. permit. And he's he's been told. I'll give him a call again this week. Yeah. Just just to remind him. Just to, you know, again, courtesy before we. But the permit. The <laughs> needs to allow for the eight foot spacing and the top right. too, not just because he's just got posts like every 20 foot and he was just going to wrap it. It looked like so. Well, when I went to buy today, it actually looked they look closer. 
Okay. Yeah, because there's there's Maybe like four of them quick. down the side now because they go around that little tree. The tree it looks yeah, it yeah. comes out from the house and then starts going down and then it hits another pole and then goes down to another pole. Then it goes around the tree. Maybe it goes and there's another the tree. Pole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so what's the reason for the what I'm so I'm, I have an idea. I think I know, but I'm just it's mostly aesthetic. I mean, just to be, yeah. Well, fences will sag. Well, we yeah, we well, ripped off just, and duplicated. So, well, okay. language. Yeah, in, I mean, in weather, it, it it's will look basically like just common language. Okay. I, I don't know who created it. Well, and the sagging was what I figured. I you put, put 20 feet apart. I put up tomato fence fences today, and the mm -hmm. center of them was going down, and I was yeah. ripping on them with one tighter. <clears throat> it wouldn't be pretty as a fence fence. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think that we just have to think about, like I said, you know, what what do you want to see as you drive through town? Yeah, you know? the mayor made a good point. It needs to be an improvement. Yeah, I, th I think that that, but you know, what we think is an improvement and what someone else thinks, so we have to define what that improvement is. So are we? We're gonna if he does bring the site plan, like okay, he he gets that with the if changes he, with the wood and everything. That's yeah. okay, and then we eliminate the wire out of. That's something that we want to do. I mean, that's the question. I, I mean, then you guys can think about it. I mean, I mean it's, it's yeah. But to it's, me, that's easy. Like him, like I say, you get rid of the wire. I don't like wire. Sure. I understand that. And but even if we were to, you know, make that I change. I find that hard to believe coming from you. I think yeah. that you would be totally in support of the wire. I mean, go out to the country, but wire up all day. But right. <laughs> that's where all my wire is. Yeah, and that's the way <laughs> no, I do it. And, and I, I, I have to tell people that. that. I was very that is. That's a fence roll wire. You can go out of town and yeah. see it stretch all that's the way down. That's your cattle. So you that is your cattle horses. fence wire right, right there. You know, and, and that's what I have to part. tell people when they, you yeah. know, when they say things. I'm like, but you're in the city limits. I mean, that you know, it's different than a 10 acre parcel. Right. But it's not a city makes the country. No. Yes. I won't go there. Well, we're taking the fences. Meet it out there at Meridian Road. The fences is our the country fence and then the city fence. Right. Right. There we go. We need to put that in our little picture. The chain link fence and then a little plastic fence. They really need the picture. Okay. So, how do we handle this? I mean, do we instruct that no, we don't want that fence, and we also want to schedule a public hearing for the exclusion of some of the stuff in the plan? Is that what we're looking to do? I mean, when you could make a recommendation for a language amendment, and then we would have to do a public hearing. Okay. Well, right. I'll make that That's right. That's motion exactly for right. a language amendment and right. schedule a public hearing. I second that. Uh, just for some direction, um, the feeling that I got, it really kind of falls down to the wire fencing type. And the, uh, you know, a good amendment just to tackle that would just be to eliminate that site plan review Chicken process or the overall wire fencing type for permit. Because even a lot of your construction, yeah. they put up a chain link yeah. or it's the orange Right. mesh the so orange mesh and that's yeah. handled in a different yeah. section right yeah, yeah. right yeah. Temporary. Yeah. Even the temporaries are all different yeah. right right the home on west road where that fencing is is that that's still within city limits is it yes is it not yep so that one was approved right yeah so that would be called who's been reading their ordinance uh, sorry what do you call that <laughs> be an exception <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of an exception a big Fair, word variance <laughs> no it's um it's a what do you i can't even think of the word right now <laughs> what are we talking about when, when, it when, when it's it's in compliance but it's a non-conforming non-conforming non yeah yeah yeah. Non okay. yeah so it's a legal non-conformity so exactly. yeah. like we have certain other things in town that you know maybe the lot is a, a, of a different size mm -hmm. that we wouldn't allow you to build a house on right now so that's illegal. And if that house burnt down, we would still let them rebuild that house in that same footprint. So same thing with people who take down garages or whatever. But if you want to make it bigger, now you're not legal non-conforming yeah. anymore. Now you're looking at the new rules. Right. So anything that exists right now, whenever you change the language, it's illegal non-conforming. That's right. And and hypothetically, let's say you know we make this change to the ordinance for the fencing type. Mm -hmm. 
this guy applies within the next couple of weeks, you know, before we hold our public hearing to change the language. It's still potentially get run through with what we have now, and he would be grandfathered in as a legal non conforming fence type. And then just moving forward, after that language changed, now everybody else has to has to abide by that. Right. So we're still allowing him an opportunity to, to run with it. Right? He's just, just, just going to have to work with us. He's just yeah. going to have to work with us. And if he sits on it, then he's going to lose out. On the language change, I would think that maybe <laughs> on the language change, I would think maybe that you would want to include some fancy wording for pallet fences as well. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, maybe you know, we need to get your dictionary yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, people are like, "What is it?" But I mean, I got, I heard a lot of it, but I, there was nothing I could deny that fence on. <laughs> I called her. <laughs> I said, hey, do we have a fence permit going up with pallets? What? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised that it went It just like, said wood. Yeah. I mean, what are you supposed to do? It said wood. Yeah. I mean. Well, oh, and the thing is, is, I mean, I hate to say it, yeah. but they're building all sorts of neat things out of pallets nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Well, now they're making really them out are. of composite, too. Yeah. So people can make docks out of them. Absolutely. Both docks and everything else. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, if he went through and actually put some paint or something on it, you know, things like that, it might not look quite as bad. But yeah, he burned it. So he, yeah, he plans on leaving it burnt that way, which is fine. I, right. you know, it, it is what it is. But if you don't want another half a dozen of them around town, we're right. going to have to stop that too. Couple languages in there. Yeah. That's just my opinion. How do we feel about the temporary gardening, uh, the temporary wire fence? Only if chicken, only if it's chicken wire for your gardens. You're okay with the with the way it's currently written. Just agricultural so. I mean, ones, you think? Well, you got numerous ones. There's uh, numerous ones out there. There's a couple on West Street. I mean, and those are just can, right Does it say fence. where it can be? Does it have to be in the backyard? I wouldn't want it in the front, but I'm well, because I had somebody call me and ask me if they could put it in the front yard, and I told them no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next thing that so I don't think that it's a big deal, but you're going to see is people making uh, their gardens out of wood boxes, right, all over the yard. Yep. And I don't oh, and that's already happening that. too. Yeah, someplace. the raised gardens are getting yeah. quite popular. Yeah, they're real popular. Yeah, oh yeah. But am I not supposed to have mine? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, actually, no, some of them. Just a thought that it it doesn't, doesn't, you're going to see uh, yeah, more yeah, gardens out yeah. there. Right? Yeah. I know. You're going to see more in the front yard. I think we want what you're going to see. So, how should I word this? My front yard, like I mean, I don't want me to say what we're going to put in. That we're going to look at. I would just say language amendment to the fencing yeah. regulations. Yeah, the planning Commission discuss potential changes to the fencing regulations. It's on what happened, but yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I like we can definitely specify where that agricultural fencing type would be allowed backyard. I'm struggling a little bit because I don't know how we're going to change the wording because i don't think it allows it i mean i don't think it allows the, i know any right now i mean it says wood plastic blah blah blah, blah. it does allow it if it, they bring it to us and they right. put a top on it and it's eight foot and, and we six, approve it. and then right. we have to if say yeah we would, have, way he's gonna get we would have to approve it, it. Yeah. we would have to approve it that's that's yeah. what it says today yeah I mean, I mean are we gonna say no wire at all that's how we want to word it yeah. After this, moving forward, moving okay. forward at the hearing. So even if they, change, even if they come, if he comes back and wants the variance right now and mm -hmm. can show us the plan and things like that, then we just and we want to prove it. We yes or no with them. If it's before the language amendment, yes. right? Yes. yes. Okay. We would say at that point yes or no. But it's definitely going to have to look a little different than what it does right now. Yeah. Let's <laughs> just run. It's got to have a top and. You know, right, and right, then you could definitely do that. I think that, quite frankly, and I'm shooting off the hill to make her job easier and less <clears> questionable. <throat> we need to tighten the reins up so she doesn't have as much, to, yeah. just like the pallet. Right? Oh, absolutely, it absolutely. Fit the description she called me, and, or I called her, and said, <laughs> hey, does, do we have a permit. Yes, we do. Okay, absolutely. They're putting the fence up, and I says, it's when she come back to town, she freaked. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, because you weren't the only person that called me, somebody else, and I'm like, I. 
I mean, it's it sad, is what it is, you know, but she didn't have any other option. But I don't yeah. think even looking at it and looking at the ordinance that I would have had to like to stand on. Right. Deny and deny that's it. why I think we need to change the play notes is yep. so that we don't get faced with these different things all the time yep, because absolutely. it's going to happen more and more. Yeah, but things are going to keep changing and they're right. going to keep. I mean, but that's what we do. I mean, yeah. right? the, I mean yeah, we need yeah. to adapt. I mean, and, yeah. I mean, we did adapt because, you know, fells are the ones that, yep. you know, they yeah. came to us and everybody was like, well, you know, and they made a good case and they made their friends look nice. Yeah. And we've had a couple more that went in that looked nice. I mean, they do. I, you, you can't say they don't, but. If, but if you get somebody that doesn't, I don't know that I should say doesn't want to make it look nice, but their look nice and our look nice are two right. different things. That's, that right there is yeah. yeah. where yeah. the, whole, the big thing comes Right, because I think he right. thinks it looks nice, mm -hmm. you know. Well, it does look nice for yes. him. But well, he's looking say. at the fence across the street. Right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so... I mean, unfortunately, that I, you know, I don't know how you regulate that. Yeah, right. Yeah. I guess it, I don't know. Unless you just get more descriptive with the standard. I think that's right. The best and way just to be right. And, and, and that's, your description for the standard, and that's it. Well, and that's why you we know. did that in the first place because I said, look, you know, the way this came to me, I have to deny it, you know. And then they drive around town and they go, well, they took pictures of yeah. all the other fences. Everybody and I'm like, well, that's yeah. fine, but those are legal non-conforming, and I can't do anything about those fences, you know? I mean, I think that if a fence is in disrepair, that we probably can start to do something with it, but it's, that gets real iffy, you know? That becomes a, you know, then what? Right. Who's next? And, you know, it's hard to make those calls, but. That's what I want to know. Like, I want to know how to go about those things. Well, I mean, basically, you know, people call and they file a complaint or whatever, and then we usually have to um, Dan look at it. Um, and or then, Dan, all these extra things. Go yeah. look at this raggedy fence. He well, likes but, it, I mean, though. He does He's that. so busy. So why don't you <laughs> the big bucks right well, there? I mean, he does that. I mean, uh, he, he is the person who looks at those things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if it looks like it's junk. Yeah. Then he tags it, and then the court actually makes the determination if right. they fight it. And but otherwise, we don't get things cleaned up if we don't do that. I mean, it, you know, it took us a long time to get rid of a lot of junk cars, and every spring we send out a letter and we try it again. And you know, well, I think we're getting we're better gaining. on a yes. lot of that stuff. Oh, absolutely. And uh, so, I mean, there's just things that sometimes aren't real popular, and you just got to do it. And he seems to be fine with it. So do we have what we need for the motion? For the I'll recommend that the fencing regulations be reviewed for a language amendment. Yeah. Then yeah. Michael bring us a language amendment, then we'll look at it right. and then schedule a public mm -hmm. hearing this okay. Right. I mean we can't yeah. we want to look at it first well, and talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. all about how quick you want to move yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. And the other side of it is of course you've got a bunch of other commits that are in that line. We don't right. This one to deal with right, right. now. That's so, right. Yeah. Anything right. anybody else would have to probably put out hold. Yep. So, but this guy, if he wants to follow through, then we should try to make it an earnest effort. But on the other side, uh, yeah. But he's going to have to make it look good. Right. So he's going to have to meet some requirements. Right. right. And I don't think he's going to. So. Okay. Do okay. we need to do a roll vote? Or yes. We that? Okay. Oh, I guess we probably don't need a roll because you're just going to bring yeah. the amendments to us. We're setting yeah. a public hearing. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, we're into other the training review zone, zoning ordinance. Yes, absolutely. So How much time you guys want to spend? I mean, we were going to do some of that. I mean, we kind of did some training with the fence thing. Sure. So Mike's got some stuff that. prepared if you want to do something or. And, and at the very least, I'd like to talk about this whole Giffels Webster, the downtown district amendment stuff, because this okay. is, uh, um, I think that. We can kind of piggyback off, off, you know, talk about the fence, and we can talk about some other language amendments to the ordinance that are going to be help out that downtown district and kind of play into the whole RRC, you know, trying to create better downtown district regulations. So, um, Paula, I, I'm not entirely sure what the context is as far as is this part of the economic development plan, or I, I'm not no, sure. No, that was with um, so. We had Giffels Webster came in and they did a like a 
Ulta survey and the site review for that site by, I always say the bank house. So it's the empty lot where there used to be a house and the bank was there. So it's not the bank house. Uh -huh. yep. Used to live there. Yep. We <laughs> call it the ago. bank house. So anyway, so um, what we used to call it. <laughs> with the RRC, like the one of the perks was that um, they provided this service for us and they created a um, like a they went through they did a market study and they created a whole list of things that you know might be great there and they also did a rendering that shows you know a three-story building with commercial on the bottom and it walks out and it's really nice so within that they noted some things that may help future development of that site does that make sense? Yes, makes okay. total sense. I just, yeah, I wanted everybody to kind of understand where this was coming from. This is that this didn't come from PCS. Uh, this, yeah, that's that's the context behind it. But uh, essentially, what they've done is is they've identified some really great things that that could, uh, yeah, I mean, could help our downtown district. And some of them are easier than others. Um, I think we can get on some of these amendments pretty quickly. But um, essentially. What they've said is that uh, you know they want they want to promote a few things when it comes to um, the downtown uh, historic buildings. Uh, you know the physical appearance generally of buildings downtown. You know and promoting the historical aspect of these buildings. Um, you know encouraging folks that that own these buildings to use all the building materials, more wood, glass, brick. You know your your traditional style materials. Um, and trying to engage the public space, you know, make it a more walkable area, you know, you make it some place For that's attractive. Instance, like when we, when, when we've redone some of these buildings, what used to be on them was um, maybe even siding going the wrong direction, you know, or plywood in the windows and, you know, right. things like that. We have the ability to discourage that. Or, take another bunch of that. Right, but we do. We we have a lot of you old, know the wood siding, <laughs> right? You know your old wood siding, right? It, especially yeah. we could make it within that district that it has to be like, for instance, when the family or the Dollar General wanted to go downtown or whatever, you know, we we didn't have a lot of teeth, yeah. But we, you know, we tried to force that. Look, we don't want your yellow and brown building downtown. We, you know, we wanted to. You know, we don't want the big flashy dollar general sign. We wanted it to look like it fit in downtown, yeah. but that's not in our ordinance. Bingo. So, so that's is, what we're getting at yeah, here. That's really what it gets to is, is by creating this uh, this type of, uh, they call it form-based code. Um, you know, it creates a standard so that, you know, dollar general comes in, they know if they're gonna go downtown, you know, they have to use those type of building materials. They have to go and, and, and conform to the style of the other buildings around, color type, you know, open windows, you know, making sure that a certain area as it faces the downtown, you know, as it faces the street is is window versus um, versus, you know, kind of plywood. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like one of yeah, like right downtown. <laughs> so just exactly. changing the language to be more using period materials to be more uniform. So it's to enhance the appearance of downtown. So yeah, it, essentially, and, and it gets a little bit deeper into that, and, and the fact that form-based code is really a different look at zoning. So your traditional zoning that we have in 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 Langsburg and in the county, it's it's all about separation of uses. It's making sure that you don't have a junkyard next to a childcare center, right? You know, that's your traditional zoning type. Your downtown, your form-based code zoning type says, you know, we understand there's going to be a variety of things that go down here, and we want them to, in appearance, look similar, but we but have flexibility in how it's used. So, it, it's it's a pretty in-depth process to create form-based code, um, and I think that there are some simple adjustments that we can do right now, and then maybe look into doing something a more in-depth dive and in creating this form-based code for the downtown. Um, throughout the course of a longer period of time, because what they've done is they've said, you know, you know, kids, you, you know, we, the, the city should consider to have uh, a minimum percentage of clear glass on the ground floor, recessed doorways, other elements to promote visibility in and out of ground floor spaces. That's pretty fluffy language right there. And it's very subjective. You know, that's something that we want, you know, we want Planning Commission talk about that, but we also want EPA to talk about that probably. We want that to be a larger discussion with more groups if we're going to get into that. 
but some other things like they've suggested um, increase the height limit of, this, of the district from 35 feet to 40 feet to allow some flexibility um, if, if you want to do a, uh, a larger ceiling height. Uh, you want to do a three floor, you want to do a three story building, you know, it, it, to, and, and have, uh, you know, taller, you know, living space inside, you know, you can do that, you know, versus, you know, zoning ordinance doesn't allow that right now. That's Which a, building is the tallest in town right now? Is it Jeff's or it's either probably, ours or, probably. yeah, I don't think so. The library? Is, uh, it, is it 35 mm -hmm. foot? Mm -hmm. I just I have no idea. I don't know. I really don't. I don't either. That's why I was asking if we knew any any of the buildings that actually reached that capacity. But what about the congregational, just the steeple part? Maybe. Well, that might be, but yeah. that probably would not apply. Yeah, that'd probably be more of an ornamental thing. Yeah. You probably would give it, you know, an exception for something. And like being that. a church. Yeah. That's, well, not, that's, that's not in the DDA district. And that's no. not in the DDA district either. Right. You're totally right. But I, all I was getting at was that you know some of these changes like. The height limit for the district, you know, we can change that pretty easily, right? We yeah, go 35, right. 40. That's yeah. that's that's an easy fix. Another one, um, mm, offer something. Uh, it's yeah. called fee in lieu of parking. We have a lot of parking downtown. That's always something that we struggle with here. We talk about businesses coming into downtown. Oh, we got to meet this huge parking requirement. Only allowed to to waiver fifty percent of that. Um, there's a there's a strategy <laughs> out there where where developers can, you know, you do your parking calculation and then we say, okay, we understand that we need this much parking, but because there's parking available, we're going to pay the city to to essentially take my money for for the parking that I should have put in. But this goes towards the city now, so that the next time there's public parking that's thought about, maybe there's resurfacing that's needed on existing lots, or there wants to be an expansion. You know, the city can use it for that purpose. That's something we don't really have worked in the code right now. Be pretty well, easy fix. And, and if you look at that site, it's zero lot lines, so yeah. that you can build edge to edge, but where even if you did parking there, how would you get the cars in and out? I mean, what what are you going to do there? That's right. So um, it's really something very important to think about for future development. And yeah, it was hard when that house was there in the first place. No, it was a pain, yeah. right? And then so so these people, <laughs> if they if they do zero lot line and we let them park all over wherever they need to on our parking lots, now they don't have snow removal. They don't you don't have a parking lot they have to take care of. So it does save them money. Yeah. If the money comes to us and we can keep up our parking, then it's a win win. But that's one of the advantages we tell our potential renters. Is, hey, you don't have to worry about snow. See, didn't we? We told you you don't have to worry about snow removal. <laughs> I was out there shoveling like crazy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. You take out your trash. Paul got a good chuckle on that. Yeah, Paul got a chuckle on that. It's it's a pretty simple fix. It's a small amendment that we can put in and just offer it as a as an option. You know, instead of putting in your own offsite parking downtown. I mean. Parking usually is not. Huge there is issue. nowhere for, for someone to put in parking. It's not there. And if we want someone to put in a building and we're going to force them to use half of their site for parking, did we really accomplish anything? I'm just questioning in my mind because I wondered about the building, how tall it is, if 40 foot is enough. Because anything that's going to get built is going to be brand new. So I just want to. Well, on a three story building, you're talking at least 30 feet there, anyways. Normally, because a, a story is ten feet tall. No, well, at so, least you know. Depends it, on at the, least depending on how our, tall. You our building has to be pretty close to thirty-five because yeah. the first floor underneath us is twelve foot ceiling. Your living room is twenty feet high. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's fourteen. It's close. So I'm at twenty-six, and I've not added anything for <laughs> any. I mean, yeah, it's got to be close. Well, yeah, you like looking at the dance studio. Yeah. Yeah. You know, down there and things like that. And you still yeah. got the whole up, upstairs yeah. and see yeah. nice yeah. apartments and everything else. That's the dance studio and ours, same though. Yeah. Well, no, the, mm -hmm. the only reason I'm thinking this way is because, like, when we're talking about down there in that lot, and Paul and Mike could follow pretty easy, is uh, when you get to the point where you're going to have a new building come in, and it's been talked about that that building down there. If it was ever built, could be a main floor with retail, then the other one could be apartments and so forth. And I just wanted, you know, 
Oh, if the 30 foot's going to accommodate somebody to build, I guess they can always ask for a variance, but sure. Absolutely. Yeah, but why even make them? Right. right. Well, that's what I'm looking at is if they come in here and say, I'm going to build a three story apartment up there and I'm going to have retail shops on the bottom and it's going to be 50 foot tall. Uh, you got to talk to some people at again, anyways, and get them amended. Right. Do but that's what I'm saying. If we just take it up to whatever yeah, common right. is, we wouldn't have to worry about it. We're not going to get that many new buildings that high in it. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, so, yeah, I, that, that, uh, you know, the fee in lieu of parking, the, the height limits, and then another one on here. Uh, is uh is a men you know we did our we did our outdoor seating ordinance last year i think it was you know it it, it served a purpose right and oh, what they're suggesting here is that we expand that a little bit not just limited to restaurants and i think we also do that hot the hobby retreat um out there um yeah. but just allow it for you know make it more accessible for all uses that are permitted in that c1 mm -hmm. district to you know use the public space in some way uh, Offer you know the, the example they had in here. There's a gym. You know, can they can they do a, an outdoor fitness class? You know, in in the back parking lot behind the building. You know, that's something that in the ordinance technically it's 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 not called out for, right? So see, we just approved Thai classes down in the park last year. They're going to have to start next this week, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Awesome. So, really nice guy. Oh, and I like the fact that the outside seating is banged on top too. That looks yeah, nice. those paintings look real nice, you know, on those stuff like that. But Thank you. Really so this is the uh the picture that they came up with. For the three-story? Yeah. That actually looks really nice. Really nice. Yeah, it looks sharp and tempered. Yeah. And the and it's like it walks right out. It's so the same kind of, color it, as the high school. So it kind of eliminates that hill that's there that is really kind of problematic. Uh -huh. So it kind of it just sets the building right in there. So you know, and they did a market study and they did a there's a I mean just like a I don't know 40 page document probably. This one's funny, but somebody that's a developer can grab a hold of it's pretty much have everything laid out for them. Right. Do you know where but, the pharmacy uh, is? Yeah, where the pharmacy is now in the, in the dentist office, mm -hmm. that lot right in between. That's just grass. That's just grass right oh, now. Okay. Where, the where they actually had, had next to the flags. Well, you had the, um, what was it, Snowman? Yep. You, you know and where Gail's office was. It's like the the building, building, the building. Right across the street. street. Okay. There yeah. used to be Those two a taller. tall two story house in yeah. there. Well, Jeff's, Jeff's house. is as tall yeah. as in the There was an apartment tall. upstairs yeah. and downstairs. Like mm -hmm. yellow so carpet. Yeah, just yeah, it was nasty. It was. And I lived there for years. So, what are the next steps with this? So, next steps with this, similar to what we're doing for the fencing. Bring you draft language to consider. I, I think that some of the everything that I've listed out, the the amendments to that outdoor mm -hmm. seating, um, the uh, the height limit increase, and then the uh, the the fee in lieu of parking. Those are things that we can knock out. You know, I, I can hand that right for you next month, no problem. I, I think I really the other two suggestions that um, the uh, the form based code uh, actual that would be a whole section of the ordinance most likely. Uh, and then the other thing is that they suggest that we create different sign standards for the downtown. I think that's really rooted in form based code. Really do. So, and we do have, um, I mean, but mostly we've done the signage that mm -hmm. is, you know, matching down there. Sure. But if we don't, like, for every individual business, no, we, you know, it's the same as everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's where they're getting at, you know, have some, you know, try and push more of that uniformity in that downtown area, which, you know, that's it's up to the city. You know, we, we feel like we want to do that. We want to push, you know, businesses so, towards the standard. So some places have like a property maintenance code. Is that handled from the planning commission side or is that from like building and zoning side? Yep. So that's that's uh, that's a police power ordinance. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it would be looped into code enforcement uh, it yeah that property maintenance code it's a standard thing i mean i know that a lot of because i feel like that it. is probably in the help with what dina's talking about when, when we have things that are in disrepair and we really don't have that i mean we don't have that code yeah. and if we want to move forward and move toward that it, i mean i don't know if it's it really it's cute but there's a lot of things that are yeah. older that are that's need some love yeah some power well and i also right now 
Mm-hmm. That's right. what we need. What we need say? a blank code. We need a blank code. Right, but we need to, you know, I mean, we but need it has to go, to go about it steps. wisely. Yes. And, you know, right. it's something yes. that I feel like, you know, we brought up before, but I mean, it kind of feels like we're moving. Things are moving that direction. We're yeah. really, you know, mm-hmm. we're feeling some changes and, you know, how do we keep it going and yeah. make everything, you know, I mean, everything's not going to be perfect, but we, we improve, mm-hmm. right? Oh, yeah. And, you know, I don't think that, I think the majority of people want to see that. Yeah. Those improvements keep happening. So, I mean, I don't know if that starts here or where that yeah, will start. We could, we could talk about it here. That's, that'd be fine. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily, it wouldn't be an amendment to the zoning ordinance. It'd be a standalone. Uh, it would be adoption. city code. It'd be a city code. Thing. So, you know how when we did the marijuana, there were two sides to that. There was city yeah. code that mm-hmm. allows us to do the marijuana. And then there was us saying, here's what you can do if we do allow it. Mm-hmm. So that would be city code. But still, I mean, it could come from a recommendation from here. It should. It, it, right. yeah, I think, you know, they're, they're intermingled, right? right. I mean, they're definitely mm-hmm. together. And, yep. you know, the benefit of doing that is that it's it's a very, it's standard, it's standard document that, you know, cities, villages, you know, you can amend that. You can amend your, your international property maintenance code, you know, but the the process is the same. Right. And that's, and that's really the benefit is you have a standard process that says code enforcement is going to go like this. And and it it's makes it easier to enforce, I think. But I we we just adopted it in Chiawansi County um, for the county at large. I haven't really seen it put into practice yet. Um, I know I live in the city of Lansing. They have adopted the international property maintenance code. Their their code enforcement pumps. I mean it's it is it's a beast. I mean they they send a letter, here's your compliance date. On the letter, they say if you don't have it cleaned up by this day, we're hiring this contractor to come out and clean it up for you. That's that mm-hmm. simple. So, it's about how you know, and it's it's about the community too. I mean, how much do you want to push the code enforcement that well? Right. Oh, I motion that we enforce it. <laughs> I, I, just, I wasn't choking on it, dude. <laughs> just had to be that. Right. So, uh-huh. well, uh, so just glad Dina's real when you're real close by. So when I start getting the calls, I just go uh-huh. get her. Oh, That's she right. looks right there. <laughs> <laughs> just go down the road. <laughs> but so, I mean, those are things that are, you know, they are important and we don't have yeah. a lot of teeth there. We I, just don't. Yeah, I think so. We talked about a lot of those things that we need to get our teeth into. I mean, I know right now, you know, we're in the process of, you know, working with the property owner downtown that has the windows boarded up, but We've been working with them for 20 years so it's like if you know the property doesn't sell and get improved i mean how long do we want to keep beautifying everything and let that go mm-hmm. it just it it doesn't help us right and it doesn't help them either and, i don't get that why they wouldn't want to at least put glass back in the windows or something so make it more attractive it yeah, saleable. Yeah. saleable you know <laughs> right now it looks like and you don't mean it's in tip-top shape yeah well what he really? knows and what what he's being told is two different words. <laughs> so I know somebody that won't go in there because he's afraid of falling through. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be you? No, <laughs> no, no, not me. I've not been in it. Not been in it. But you know, I mean, those are things that you know are just really important if we keep working. We want to work that direction. So, do we have a motion for Mike to write up some language for repeat mm-hmm. where you? Do yeah. we need a motion for that? I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, I mean, at least he's got direction then. Yeah. Yeah. I make a motion second. to put Mike to work. There you go. <laughs> so specifically, no, I'll just repeat that again. Uh, the amendment to the height limit for C1 district, um, B and move parking, and uh, outdoor dining. It, it, was, it was originally outdoor dining, but we'll probably change that to outdoor use, outdoor accessories, something. Outdoor seating. Outdoor seating. Yeah. And present it at the next meeting, yeah. and then we can come up with next steps. You know, it'd be nice if we had tables in front of at least a table in front of every business, you know, that so people walk out. Yeah, and like Leonard's, you don't think anybody'd stop, but they grab a pot and they can sit down. And, oh yeah. You know. Well, but so you still have the ice cream inside? He's got pop and eggs so. in there. Pop I know he's got the pop in there, but he used to have the, the ice cream. Yeah, I think he's got the MSU dairy. You know, you're right. Yeah. yeah. 
I would sit outside the line. Oh, my yeah. dog. Just, yeah. yeah, and he's got dogs well, like in front of the line, all the dogs and everything. So, you know, you yeah. kind of look at that whole oh, yeah. demeanor thing of going, yeah. what if somebody did want to sit down there and they can't go across to the restaurant because they're going to say, if you're not ordering, you don't sit. Right. Well, Quite frankly, that's not right, though. I was going to ask. I mean, if we did the tables, I mean, like, can they do that? Can they say you can't sit there? No. no. no What's so. really nice about it? They just said, let us know if you're here. Like, yeah. you can sit out there all night. But, like, yeah. if you want something, you still off. ask because yeah. of the yeah. liquor. Yeah. Well, it makes it hard for somebody just to walk out there and sit. But I don't think anybody's going to kick them out of there. But the difference is, is that we're providing the tables right. and chairs. Right. So we right. did write that in there a little bit differently because of the we're providing them. But, you know, some people may want to provide their own. And then what? Don't we want them all to match and look nice? Yeah. So, yeah. Right. so I think that, that, that kind of, but too. that kind of, yeah. I think that was, yeah. a, you know, that was the big pow was that they all match. We have the matching planners and the umbrellas or, you know, I mean, if somebody wants to start getting Bud Light, you know, no. yeah, right. uh, umbrellas yeah. or whatever. I would or, think that. But we, would. I mean, what if we don't want that, you right. know? I think we do is that they could be have. bought through yeah. the city. Right. Yeah. But I just think that, you know, yeah. if we, you know, work. That we want some kind of language in there about how it needs to match, yeah. and it can't be advertising for. Aren't you glad we met here today? So we can yeah, just no, give you a no advertising. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's uh, sponsors or anything. Expect like nothing um, less. <laughs> don't we already have some benches out around town? We do have benches. There is yes. some benches, yeah. And those are the city one. For, well, people have donated right them, by the or the city is providing them. There by the um, office, isn't there? There's been quite a few there. Yes. Couple of them right there. And we have quite a few of them. But you're thinking tables and chairs instead of just more more benches look like Lanesburg on it, that kind of thing. Well, I think that's right now what the, they're talking about is like outdoor seating tables yeah. and chairs, different than the benches. Mm -hmm. Like what we have. I mean, when we did the benches, we weren't thinking we were going to be able to do this, and then we managed right. to make it happen. So the, the bigger issue there also is going to be if we're providing them and we're putting them out there for them. Where are we going to store them We've when been it comes to that them. time? Well, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Is there going to have to be Can some we other place more? that we're going to have to add on somewhere we'll to make be able, it work? You know, but you see what I'm saying? That, that's yeah, you're right. not getting so much. No. Yeah, and, but those are things that you know. I mean, those are things to think about. But we, as staff, can usually we, we figure something out. Oh, absolutely. Or we, you know. I figure if we let every business know that we're opening it up for them to have a table out and if they'd like to our purchase one, they could come through the city. Mm -hmm. And if we get a special price, they'll get the special price. If we don't, they pay just what we do, but at least we're controlling it for color and everything you use. Oh, okay. You're really quiet. So we have a motion to have a second? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we need to vote or we get? We're just all in favor. Yeah, yeah. we're all in favor. Okay. So I have something I want to bring up. Um, and this may not be the right place. It may not be a big deal. Um, and the biggest problem is not there anymore. But the alley behind our building and what is, I don't even know the name of that road, right? What kind of easement language or what kind of do we have on that? Because we had that problem with the one owner of the house wanting to encroach out there and wanted to use that space and just, I mean, the he's problem, not there anymore. The problem is that um, I'm seeing signs that it may not be a right. Right, the, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so what the city did was once there was an issue, we had it surveyed. But that really didn't solve anything. Right. So all that does is tell us what we own. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So their options could would be that you know the city could um, put no parking on the alley or whatever. Maybe I mean I don't know some of those things. Or we could approach the um, property owners that because there's like an uneven spot back there. Yeah. And yeah. if we were able to you know gain that piece. Mm -hmm then that might be better. And then just be able to put up there, you know, no parking on this alley, we'll just put up signs, right. you know, right. if we had the space to do that. Fire zone. Well, I'm just- and That's really what it is, it's the fire zone. Yeah. Right, but so, I mean, the, I, so, so, personally, I think it's, you know, beyond anything that the staff can do at this point, it's gonna, it, I think that we need it, it's legal. Right. Well, I, I mean, I think that it's, 
it needs some legal action and it needs somebody who and that's know, why i'm bringing it up yeah. here the planning commission is it something that we should say hey we need to do x y and z well i think that you know i mean uh the, a recommendation could pr come from planning commission to city council that you know that the city look mm -hmm. into you know whatever can be done there to accommodate all of those businesses because we obviously don't want right um i mean that's huge to those businesses to have right. access to the back of their buildings. Yep. And so yep. if delivery trucks can't get down there, if, yep. you know, and, and the other thing I think there's a problem back there with is, you know, trash. So, and yep. snow removal. So if the city were able to accommodate something to help all of those buildings yep. with snow removal and trash, like if there was a dumpster somewhere that they all shared that was enclosed, because that becomes a problem, right? You got this garbage yep. truck going back there and the alley can't hold the garbage trucks. And if everybody has different garbage provider, which I right, don't know. Which we do. I mean, there's, you know, there's, you know yeah. then now you got three garbage trucks going down this little mm -hmm. tiny alley that isn't really meant for that kind of traffic. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I think there are things that can be done. It yeah. just requires some attention. Right. right. Yeah. And it's just, I just wanted to bring yeah. it up. I wanted, I mean, it's something I agree, it's something that needs something. Yeah. Um, and we've, you know, I mean, in the office and probably with Mike, I've had that discussion a few times that, you know, what, what I can do is nothing, pretty much. Right. I mean, it, it's almost in the laws, the hands of the law right now. But I mean, there are things like if if we were to get those property owners together and say, hey, what, what are we doing here? We all need to work together. You know, what can we do to make everybody? I mean, maybe somebody next door thinks something different than you and I do. Right. That, you know, maybe they have a better idea or another idea. But I do think that there <coughs> are things that we should, you know, we could put a group together and be talking right. to each other and trying to, before snow flies again, you know, figure out. Because I mean, we've been called down there for fist fights over snow removal, and you know, it's just, well. I think we, we had to make an arrangement with them, pretty, like you said, about the snow and whatever. Right, because went. they have nowhere to put it. Right. So yeah. if you have snow back there and you push it over to this guy, yeah, he's mad. Now he pushes it back on you, and now they're mad, and yeah. everybody's mad, and it doesn't just really tell help. PDP like, hey. Just let us go right down the hill, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> but you know the no, DPW can go back there, and get, right. but it may not happen, you know, uh, immediately because it won't right. be their first priority, right. obviously. Right. Right. Um, but I mean, those are things that we could enter into some kind of an agreement with the property owners back there. And so, as one it. of those property owners, I've had no problem with what DPW has done for the snow for the next year. But my problem has been that other people pull snow out into the alley and block off half the alley with mountains of snow. Yeah, which right, is right. illegal anyway. Right, which is right. But that, that's why I started this out with, is there easement land? Then they think it's their property right. and they can do it. Well, I would right. think the city would have an easement language. or and maybe well, We have a term. description, but I think it matches where that property line is drawn. Yeah, I think so. Now, is he gone? He's moved, he sold it. but he those sold it. people yeah. have started doing some of the same thing. Yeah, I mean, they parked their truck out there. But I know mm -hmm. Dan went and talked to them and they weren't going to, I don't know if anything has changed. But, yeah. Well, and they, yeah. I I actually think as far as recommendation, I think as far as the plan, if anyone feels the same, that we will recommend the city council at least try to find out how we can work out that alley and what arrangements we can make if it has to be a dumpster put in a parking lot or whatever to get all them trucks out of there or whatever we need to do could they put one of the like you're talking about the dumpsters could we put a specific spot in the parking lot across the street to put a dumpster over there yeah we probably could yeah. will they use it that's right. the next that's question. that's going to be the big thing well to we get would have to enter to, into an agreement right. and tell right. them they and, and this is where planning would come in and, right and this is where what mike is talking about like right. we would just say no one on the back right. side of this alley is allowed to have curb carts right i right. mean you guys can put that in there right. no right. curb carts you have to use the dumpster i mean you just force them to use it and actually most people have an apartment up there or whatever they're going to prefer that yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, Who wants a nasty can of garbage yeah. right next to where you come in and out? We got all that for the garbage down to the bottom of our back stairs. That isn't even our garbage. I mean, ours is done. Right. And office. maybe somebody so has, you know, enough space over there that we could put a dumpster right on the alley somewhere and it would be in the middle or something. I mean, there's things that can be done. And Paul and I have talked about this before because we, we do have an issue going on. But, uh, 
you know, we talk to the business owners and, and say, you're paying for trash service anyway. What if we put a dumpster out here and you're going to pay us for the dumpster? The businesses cut it up and do it that way. We make everything nice and we take care of the snow and blah, blah, blah. I don't see how anybody can refuse that. Yeah, I wish somebody would come down and blow, plow my drive. <laughs> Please. <laughs> somebody Please. does, but I'd have to hand them the money. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just got four-wheel drive. Just, nope, not trouble. Yep, don't need no stinking. <laughs> Mine's the kid that, yeah, I'll feed you tonight, son. <laughs> so that would be my recommendation that we recommend to council that they try to work out something. So can we add it to the next agenda? Come up with next steps or do we to hear? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, if you guys want to talk, we about, have to it, talk you... about it here more, or would we have to actually just have the council? Like, well, Microsoft. if I take it to them right now, I mean, they're gonna go what? Right. So, I'm doing that right now. I don't even. I know just what I'm hearing. Right. So I feel so like I if you guys have a good pieces. understanding, we get a handle on it. What we need something to take to them. Right. Yeah. That's Does what that I mean. make more sense. Yes. Yes. Any thoughts, Michael? Okay. I want to know more too. Like I, I so just know. Just want to schedule tidbits. time. I can go. So when I said that, I didn't mean to be this council meeting anyway. It's just right. that I, I mean we could just go I mean, there, right? Take a tour right. over there. Like you can come to see yeah. me, and we put the buzz over there or whatever, exactly. and look at it. Mm -hmm. And I can help you guys understand what's going on. Yeah, I have no clue. And I will show you the. Um, we had it surveyed. I'll show you what we have. But I mean, I think we're you know. We're looking at next steps, what we can do without having to take legal action against someone. Can we put a fence um, up? But I mean, I think that, we'll, 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 but I do feel like there's, you know, it's well, about the cities no, for like 50 years. Yeah, 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 I think no, it's been there ever since I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. So I think that there's, you know, there's, there's, we can take it, I, you know, I mean. Adverse possession. Right. So there's a, there's a, there's that, but the, the, all of this is beyond well, my ability. I mean, can, sure. can you have property that somebody owns, but they have an easement that says this property will be used by. We do have an easement. It says this property will be used for an alley. Yeah. Okay. But yep. it's shifted at some point okay. and there's a small piece there. That's the problem. So, and then we can define within the alley what can and can't be done. But yep. then you have those buildings on the south side, right? So their property goes to a certain spot. So up to that spot, we don't have any control over it. Yeah. And so if they yeah. park like right up on the edge and wanted to be jerks, somebody could do that there too. Yeah. You know, so we need to have like a we it actually needs like real markings like a street has that mm -hmm. says this is the yes. alley, no no parking, no you know, nothing right. Well, it's still just one way, right? Can we get more one way signs? Yeah. Still, I was gonna say it, it is still one <laughs> it way. It is still one way. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if there's any one way streets and length. Right, right. No, this if one has one fire way, lane, no watch parking, everybody drive. It's, it's, Right. Oh no! It's like right here. No, they I, come out I of follow here. what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. They yeah. don't read. They yeah. can't see. There's people coming yeah. in off the road onto that alley. If somebody's coming the other way. Yeah. Well, and the worst part about it is, is you're talking fire lanes. I'm sorry, but that's not even big enough for a decent fire truck to get out there. Well, no. And, you know, my whole thing has always yeah. been: if one building catches in Langsburg, they're all going to have a tendency to go, and you're going to need and, fire trucks everywhere. And to be honest with you, your fire trucks are going to be on your main drag, and they're actually going to be on. Uh, What's the next one? If they're actually going to be in the parking lot or on that tar road running yeah. the hoses. They're not going to be on that alleyway for things falling down. No, so, but if they, you got but houses back there you're gonna, too. You're going to you're going to block that road off. All right, and you got houses back there. What right. if one of those are on fire? You got William Street and that yeah, alley. Yeah, William Street. So William it's Street, really you're going to use that. It's really is a fire lane. Oh, I mean, you know, yeah. as far as the use of, that's the whole access. That's I the same thing about one of them down through there, though. When we talked about doing uh, <laughs> marijuana processing business. Oh, yeah. You know, they're using gas inside a building, bottled gas. What if it blows up? You're going to take out the whole city. You're not going to take out one building. Yeah. And that was the whole point of standalone. You can be yeah. alone. <laughs> Whatever happened with the other one? I don't know. I've never heard. I heard. They're I heard doing a lot of stuff over there right now. They collapsed. I thought. Are they, yeah. I, I heard that. I, 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 I mean, room. I don't know if they're doing anything, but I did see him gutting stuff out and people are fixing the roof and 
But that's all I know. Some roof no, that's Ridgedale. I was going to say, I think that's Dean's. Yeah, doing that's the roof on yeah. I don't well, think I did see... the Clotz building has been kind of, I don't know. I heard that they didn't go through. It? I don't know. I did see Clotz, though, cleaning stuff out the other day because my mom waved at him. Well, we have heard no more of it. Some things. Okay. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need to know because I know the rumor is not true. She's heard some things. So, okay. Not all be. rumors are true. That's true. That's hmm. right. Anything else? Um, we talk about the ordinance. It's it's up to you guys and what you want to do there. I didn't have anything formal planned. I just wanted to walk you through it. And... Well, we just we'll keep that for a night. We don't talk to eight twenty three. Yeah. Fair enough. How's that? Yeah. 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 You don't want to get home at ten, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You got a long I'm here ride. to tell you guys. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you uh, understanding what they need us to do there and looking through that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. Some some changes easier than others. That form based code, I think it's a great idea. It's just it's gonna take time. Okay. I think those to adjourn. Second. Okay. All right. We're done. Oh, good to me. And... <laughs> It's scattered. <laughs> yeah. For the VDA. No. Finishing up those windows. What do I need to do? Are you done with it? Oh, well, what do you mean? I think that's. Do I need to get you people? At least I've ever said it. I know. You I didn't say anything. You. I need to get it to you. Well, I was yep. So they just three and circles, everything. Right. So what you'll do is when you get all done, you get all yep. your paperwork and everything together, oh, just give me a call. Okay. okay. I'll bring up work. So. Oh, yep, that's from the way you guys just kind of look at it. Hi, thank you. Work. And then what I'll do is bring it to the yep. city or DDA and say yep. this is done, it's passed, and yep. yep. they'll cut you. It'll be done next so, week. We're close. So I he's done across the street too, but he's never called me to get to huh. okay. the bills and stuff together. So I'm just waiting for everybody to and you just need the receipts for the windows I need and then just proof of the windows and yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, just the projects. I made, I made sure I had it earlier, and so. Yep. Yeah. I volunteered for that job like an idiot, but. Yeah. Okay. All right, you. So we will call you. As soon as we get. Well, them there's only four of them. It shouldn't be that hard. Two of them are almost done. <laughs> <laughs> no, theirs was an old one. Oh yeah, that's true. Thank well, you all. That was last year. Okay. okay. See ya. Thanks, yes, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you much. Yes. Whenever you feel like taking a walk, we'll go look at the alley. Yeah, let's let's set something up like that soon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. I should have called you again the other day. Uh oh. What'd I you do now? <laughs>